was our last episode two weeks ago, but it's not. We have a bonus episode. Bonus episode. La, 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 la. Bonus episode. Mm, 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 mm. Very excited about that. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, <laughs> see, we went to the uh, Hazleton Rotary Wine and Beer Festival uh, last week, and we shot some video, and we met a lot of people, mm-hmm. a lot of fans, we'll call them. I guess I use that term loosely, but yeah. they do to watch the show, so... We didn't want to wait until next season to show some highlights and talk about what we did and what we saw and what we drank there. So, you good people out there, you get bonus episode! Yay! So, I'm Jeff, and this is my wife and my best friend and my co-host and the person that was walking around uh, the Wine and Beer Festival, stopping every, what, five steps and say <laughs> hi to people. Sure. <clears throat> so, here we are, Wine Hops and Road Stops, bonus episode. Hooray! So let's get started. You want to get trendy, my dear? Yeah, let's get trendy. Yeah, because we're trendy people, right? Oh, yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we got our finger on the pulse of what's going on in the community, right? Mm, yeah. yeah. Sure, sure we do. So, <clears throat> there's been some trendy drinks in 2024 that I want to talk about. And some are pretty interesting, actually. Some I've tried and some I haven't. But I think we, you know, maybe next... Uh, Next episode, maybe we'll try some of these. So, but I don't know. I don't do trendy. You know that. <laughs> You're if like trend, trend. It's not for me. Yeah, but these sound good. Okay. So I want to just share with you guys like some popular drinks that are, uh, you know, the thing right now with the kids. The kids love these things. The so kids. So let's let's be trendy right now for a second. So in 2024, several new and popular alcohol drinks are making waves, and here are some of them. Now this one's interesting, soju. It's a Korean spirit, and it's growing rapidly in popularity outside of Korea, especially in the United States. It's often compared to vodka due to its neutral flavor, but with a lower alcohol content. Soju is usually around 20, 20% ABV, compared to vodka, which is usually around 40%. It's versatile for various cocktails, and it's easy to drink straight. Flavored versions are also available. Now, the worldwide rise in Korean culture due to K-pop, like our daughter loves, and movies and shows, especially on Netflix, there's a lot of like good Korean movies that, you know, if you could read subtitles, then you're going to enjoy them. Um, so everyone's interested in Asian traditional food drinks as well. So that's soju. Next up, we have a Hugo Spritz, this refreshing cocktail. Gain traction on social media, especially TikTok. And it uses elderflower liquor combined with Prosecco and club soda, often garnished with mint and citrus. Making it the perfect summer drink because summer's still on overdose. I would try that. Yeah. Next is the Revolver, which is a modern twist on the classic Manhattan. The Revolver uses bourbon and swaps out sweet vermouth. That sounds interesting, but doesn't sound like it'll taste good. I don't know, like, like coffee and orange. That's not what gets me. It's the bourbon. Oh, and the, oh, the, like, oh coffee and orange, is, they're fine. <laughs> bourbon is where I draw the line. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I don't know. I would, I, I, well, we're going to make one, and we're going to try it uh, next uh, season. Something to look forward to. All right. I'm going to continue to list. Next up, functional cocktails. These are drinks incorporating health-conscious ingredients like... Kombucha, matcha, and turmeric. These are trending. These cocktails aim to provide not just flavor, but also potential health benefits, catering to the wellness-oriented drinker. If that's uh, that's an actual thing, I'm not sure. And finally, bold and smoky flavors. Like mezcal, that continues to rise in popularity. Smoky flavors become more common in cocktails. Bartenders are experimenting with smoked ingredients and even smoking the glass to add complexity. So there you go. There's a list of trendy drinks uh, that you could try if you want to be trendy, if you want to be cool. You want to be, you know, like the cool kids. You want to do what the cool kids do. Uh, there you go. What well, do you think? I like smoky stuff. So. Yeah, you do. I know. Yeah, but not a smoky old-fashioned. Would you have a smoky old-fashioned? Uh, why would I not have an old-fashioned, <laughs> Jeff? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you're like, oh, I like smoky stuff. So what do you want to do? Oh, I could smoke, smoke beer. I mean, you could do smoky stout and stuff like I that. Like smoky those. porter, you know, or smoky tequila. I Apparently, like smoky, smoky mezcal is a thing now. Yeah. We'll have to try that, too. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm not, we're not going to make any of that right now, but we are going to make drinks. Yes, we're going to take a break. 
quick break. When we come back, we're going to make drinks. We're, but we're also going to talk about the Hazleton Rotary Wine and Beer Festival. And we're going to make drinks. So don't go away. the bonus episode of Wine Hops and Road Stops, season 11. Bonus. You get the bonus. We all get in the bonus. That's what we like to do at work sometimes. They just bonus. <laughs> that's, that's a dad joke. Ah, uh, yes, it is. <laughs> Actually, that was, oh, God, who would have told me that? That was like something from back in high school. They said, like, yeah, yeah, you know, the job I work at, all, they don't, they, they give us a bonus, all right? Yeah, that's all they do is bonus. <laughs> Right. Yeah, okay. Practicing your dad jokes since 1991. <laughs> yeah, pretty much when I graduated. Oh, I'm old. All right, but if you do like what the old people here are doing, <laughs> check us out on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash wine hops and road stops. Check out the group. She's not old, I'm old because right. yeah, yeah, she's, she's still got a few, <laughs> few years left before she turns old. Yeah. So, yeah, check it out. Check out our Facebook page and, of course, our YouTube page. Where you can see all the stuff that doesn't go into the show and some extra stuff like uh, Doesn't Chef Watch stuff where we talk about movies and uh, the one we're doing right after the show that's going to you know get on in about a week or so. It's pretty cool. It's about you know movies that make us drink or want to have either a wine or a beer or a shot of something. We're going to talk about those uh, movies. But you got to subscribe to our YouTube uh, to see them. Yeah. So there you go. We don't, we don't air that on TV. On TVs. <laughs> the TVs. <laughs> the TVs. All right. <clears throat> so next thing we got to talk about is the Hazelton Rotary Wine and Beer Festival that we went to. Now, this is, I think, I want to say it's like the 11th year, 12th year. I think it's the 11th year. This past weekend, uh, I did double duty. We walked around and it's, it's yeah, yeah, it's m m mature. I say the word duty and she laughs. <laughs> you said it twice. I know. <laughs> What did you think? We, I, I, we can't pick a favorite, but like, no. we're not going to pick a favorite beer. We're not going to pick a favorite uh, vendor or anything like that. But uh, we're going to talk a little bit about some of them we stopped at, some of them that talked to us, some of them that we didn't even know existed. Uh, when we got there, first thing we did when we got there, okay, well, we got <laughs> we got stopped a few times but uh, by, by fans, which was great. You know, I, I, again, use that term loosely. People that watch the show, we call them. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, then we stopped at Revere Brewery. Mm -hmm. uh, first stand that we saw, uh, they are out of Tamaqua. And we tried, was it a blueberry wit? Yes. I'm not big on fruit beers. <laughs> you know that. But this one was good. <laughs> this one was really good. And yes. it was refreshing. Yeah. What'd you think? I went back for that one again. <laughs> that was really good, actually. <laughs> yeah, so thank you. Thank you, Rivera. And uh, around 4 o'clock that day, they put on, I think it was called the Zombie IPA. I think so. And yeah, I had a few of them. And moving on from there, let's talk about Deep Roots Hard Cider. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're out of Sugar Run, Pennsylvania. What'd you think of them? I think they found a way to put apple pie in a glass. Yeah. Their apple crisp cider, and again, I, I'll say it, I'm not a big cider fan. That one was delicious. Mm -hmm. I could have just taken the bottle and just, just down. Yeah. And that was made with apple, cinnamon, brown sugar, and ginger. And their apples are sourced locally, too, I found that out. Uh, but that was excellent. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and the little bite, you know, from the ginger, the, to yeah. me, that makes it. Yeah, I yeah. like ginger. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're, you're a big fan of ginger. I am. We're going to have some ginger beer later. And we ran into a guy with a big beard <laughs> named Tom. That is a Harry Guy's Brewing in Jim Thorpe. Talk to the owner and brewer, Tom Whitehead. And we tried their American Lager mm -hmm. and their Grapefruit IPA, which is very grapefruity. Uh, if you like a Grapefruit IPA, like that was, that, was, that was excellent. You had their American Lager. I did. Go see them in Jim Thorpe. Moving on from there, of course, we went to see Alan. Alan Gennetti, he used to be our the host of this show with me. And you, <laughs> you tried the 
Cape May Key Lime Pie Sour. Uh -huh. I believe it's called um, Key Lime Corrosion, actually. Yes. It is good, and I, I don't like sours, and I said that as he handed it to me, but yeah. it wasn't too sour. Right. It and it tastes like key lime pie. Yeah. And I like key lime pie. <laughs> and you. I got to try my first pumpkin bear of the season. Yep, that's right. Yeah. And that was <laughs> what? That was dogfish pumpkin, it right? It was. Yeah. yeah. I think it was good. <laughs> it was kind of hard to remember. It was one of the first beers I had. No, I was not disappointed. Also, they had some food. They had some great food trucks. Mm -hmm. And I have to mention, he's a huge fan of the show. And we're a huge fan of his pierogies. Pierogi Show was there. Yep. And we got to have pierogies. <laughs> And it was so good. I love his pierogies. Mm -hmm. so thank you, Pierogi Joe. He sometimes he'll call me up or he'll contact me somehow and he'll be like, I got a wine you have to try on the show. And he'll just deliver me a, a, a bottle <laughs> of wine. He's done that a few times yeah. over the course of, uh, you know, the years, a couple of years we've been doing the show. So thank you, Pierogi Joe. <clears throat> and like I said, the, the pierogies were great. <laughs> yeah, the food there was really good. I had empanadas. Mm. Oh, do I love empanadas. <laughs> I did not though, but I had pierogies. I had, actually I had pierogi I had twice. After I got done gigging when we were cleaning up, uh, one of the workers at at uh, the food truck at Pierogi Joe's food truck came up and gave the band a bunch of pierogies. So thank I you. Missed out on that. <laughs> See, food truck people. Next time we're at a festival, if you bring the band food, especially me, I'll talk about you on a show. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. It's a win-win. Okay, last but not least, though, we gotta talk about Pappy's Up in Smoke. The hot sauces I tried, okay? <laughs> not gonna be that offensive. It's actually not, but it's good. It's good. Well, yeah, oh, it's oh, got blueberries, blueberries and blackberries in it. Oh, I just picked that. And it's sticking, guys. Oh, boy. Thank you. Woo! Oh, there we go. For the challenge, I guess, huh? Got a water. Thanks very much, yep. Thank you. So there's our coverage of the Hazel and Rotary Wine and Beer Festival. Uh, 10th year, 11th year, something like that. Uh, I don't remember. It was fun, and we're going to do it again next year. I can't wait. Yes, me neither. So when we come back, we got a viewer question. They want us to talk about shandies. So we're going to actually make real traditional shandies. Don't go away. I won't tell you what they are, too. So don't go away. We'll be right back. with some kind of random stuff we threw together. Uh, we asked some questions on our Facebook group, which you should join. If you go to facebook.com slash wine hops and road stops, a little button to join the group and there you go. <laughs> <laughs> right. So someone said, hey, why don't you talk about shandies? A shandy is a beer cocktail usually made with equal parts beer and citrusy lemon lime soda. It is a popular British pub drink. A shandy can be Easily customized with the beer and soda of your choice. Although, if you want a traditional British shandy, you should stick to the 50-50 beer and soda mix and use a light, refreshing beer. They are generally considered the best for shandies. So you don't want to use like a stout. You, want, you don't want to use a porter. We're going to do two of them, okay? One's a little different. One's because, you know, like we like to, you know, mess with things. But the first one we're going to do is we got some Sprite. Sprite Zero, actually, you know, and watch the sugar. And we have a wonderful Pennsylvania Pilsner, Sunshine Pilsner by Trogues. So this is a light, refreshing beer. Light-ish. Yeah, 4.5. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a traditional one. And basically, it's just going to be half of this, half of that, and a splash of lime. So let's try that. Get this bad boy open here. Woo! All right. So I'll we'll pour this. There we go. That's for you. Okay. Oh, you have to actually hand it back to me because I gotta put soda in it. <laughs> wow. You are it, not done, sir. It is. <laughs> it's been a week. It's been a week. All right. Yeah. Add some soda to it. Okay. And a splash of lime, a little squeezy from the squeeze bottle here. There you go, dear. I'll trade you. All so right. you grab that one. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, here we go. Pour that in. It's very bubbly. Well, 
You know how the British are. They're very bubbly people. <laughs> okay, a little bit of lime. So, let's try this out. I never really, I don't think I've ever made one of these before. Have you? You did shanties on your show once with <laughs> Alan. <laughs> did we? Yes. Did, did we mix? Did like real, yeah. Yes. Yes. That was anti ancient history. I mean, I, don't, I can't remember yesterday. Okay, well, whatever. That. Second time's a charm here. I don't think anyone watched those old episodes. <laughs> they have like three views and so. All right, let's just drink these. Okay. Okay. I, I get it. <clears throat> yeah, I can get used to it. You're going to make short work of this. Yeah. Meh. <laughs> 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 Meh. <laughs> I knew I wasn't a huge fan, but I didn't know if actually making like a real one would be different than. Not really. <laughs> Not really different. No, mm -mm. it doesn't <laughs> doesn't do it for me. <laughs> doesn't do it for you. Watch Des and Jeff watch stuff. It, 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 Spaceballs. It's a line from the movie Spaceballs. And I use it all the time. You do. <clears throat> Again, I'm nine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a pumpkin shandy. Okay. Which we're gonna use. Pumpkin ale, Stegmeier pumpkin ale, which is this is up there. One of the better Look at ones. That's pumpkin royalty right yeah, there. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it is. It is one of the better ones. Yeah. So it's gonna be one part pumpkin ale and ginger beer with a splash of lemon. Now, I, I what I think we're gonna do mm -hmm. is we're gonna make this first with just the ginger beer and. The pumpkin ale and see how that tastes. Yeah, I'm not sure about that lemon. We'll see. Right, so I don't want to mess it up. There we go. There we go. So let's try like this first. What do you think? Okay. All right. And I'm imagining that this is going to be really good pumpkin beer because I think this bottle's left over from last year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's it's the pumpkin ale has been aged a year. Yes. It smells oh, good. Oh, it does smell good. It smells like fall. Oh, oh, no. okay. <laughs> okay, I like that. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. All right, that, that's a winning combination. But you know what? I do have to try just a splash of lemon and see. Just a splash. Yeah, no. No, you can drink it the regular way. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this... Smells and tastes like fall. It mm -hmm. makes me want to go to Jim Thorpe and walk through all the shops and see the Harry Guys Brewing Company. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I really like the ginger finish on it. Like there's, yeah. you don't taste you taste the pumpkin first. Yep, and then the finish hits you with the ginger beer. That it's excellent. Tingliness of oh, ginger. Oh, this is so get. good. Yeah, this is really good. I wish we had more pumpkin ale and ginger beer because this is what we could be drinking all night after we're done with the show. No. <laughs> well, hey, next time. So there you go. There's a recipe for you. That's a good one. The first one, meh, whatever. Uh, take it or leave it. But this one, this pumpkin shandy, I'm going to be making these more. I'm going to be making these more. A lot more. Yeah, we're going to take a little break. When we come back, we're going to do a random beer that I found in my fridge. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. Random beer, it's been sitting around and uh, it's been in the back of the fridge and I'm like, you know what? We need to talk about this yet. We need to talk about it. So, don't go away. More one-ups and road stops coming up. segment of the bonus show Wine Hops Road Stop <laughs> bonus show and uh, we're going out with a bang here a little Motorhead Iron Fist oh man Lemmy was he was something he was the lead singer of Motorhead if you don't know great music great rock music and Lemmy you know he sings like he has razor blades in his throat like this <laughs> but other than that I mean it's an acquired taste with the vocals but man they could write some really cool songs they're not a metal band per se, but they're a heavy rock band. But they also influenced hundreds or thousands of metal musicians. Lemmy was one of a kind. And this beer, Motorhead Iron Fist, it's labeled as a loud and hazy India Pale Ale. 
So the Motorhead IPA, I know nothing about it. I didn't really look it up. I didn't read anything about it. I just it was a really blind taste test here. And I, of course, just bought it because of the label. <laughs> sure. Yeah. You know, and and you know, talking about Alan again, you know, way back when we did a whole episode of beers that were either made by musicians or other famous people or had something to do with pop culture. We did a whole show like that, but this beer wasn't it wasn't exi in existence back then. I don't think. And there's so many of them, we can do another show like that. So maybe we will. That's a, that's a, it was a fun themed show. I think we should do one with really cool labels and just go by the label because that's fun. <laughs> that's fun too, yes. And you were, we're suckers for good artwork. So yeah. yeah. So Motorhead, Iron Fist IPA, what do you think? I like it. I like it too. It's 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 It doesn't taste like an like an IPA. No, no, it, it's, it's it's lighter than expected. Yeah, it's not overly hoppy at all. Six percent ABV, so it's you know middle of the road. Uh, there you go, pretty good beer. Yeah. Mm. If you could still find it, try it. So um, before we go, uh, again, thank you everyone for uh, for watching. Thank you everyone for when we're actually out and about coming and say hi. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, uh, like we actually went on a date the other night, which was weird. Was. <laughs> First time in a while. And again, um, how many people stopped us? Like. You know where we were at the restaurant we were at. Um, mm -hmm. Three, four different different couples were like, "Hey, know you, you know." Yep. And and that was uh, that's nice. So if you see us out in the wild, say hi. <laughs> yeah. And, and again, um, if you haven't yet, join our Facebook group, and of course, <laughs> our videos <laughs> up are all they're all up on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. You got anything else to say? Because we are now done. We're done. We're done until we come back with season 12. You got anything else? Nope. Just come back. <laughs> We're coming back. Well, come back and join us. Well, that's all the time we got, guys. We'll see you next season on Wine Hops and Road Stop. So, in the meantime, life is too short. Drink bad shandy. So, grab a shandy and drink with someone you love. See you next time. Wine Hops and Road Stops in the fall.